Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a new solution that you can use Kinkoni A-Series board work with Alexa and Google Home. So we just need to add this to your adapt and work with any Kinkoni ESP32 board for voice country. So you can see here in our computer that have many ESP32 home automation board. You can see 16 channels and AIO and 2 channel and many different ESP32 board. Now we can use the KCS firmware. You can see this is A6 board. I can use KCS firmware so that you can see. I can control this relay output at here. And also you can use the Tuya mobile phone. You can see uh, the Tuya lessons so that you can remote control by your mobile phone in anywhere by internet. But only by this Tuya lessons on KCS firmware you can't use the voice control by Alexa and Google Home. So this video will help make the new firmware for the Tuya Adapt so that you can easy to for voice control for the King Kong A series board. And here you can see I have uploaded the source code. You can see the Tuya Adapt for virtual switch because that can create a virtual switch on your Tuya mobile phone application so that you can link with any Tuya product. And here is the Bing file, that is the firmware. And this is the Arduino source code you can download if you want to change it. So this source code I have uploaded. And then let's look at how to download the firmware to this board and how this board works with the King Kong A series board. And it's very easy. So you just download this file. After you download, you will see uh, this zip file. And on zip, you will find this Bing file. So that we can use the ESP32 download tool. Just download this file. You can see, I just connect with my USB cable and connect with the power supply. Just as here. And you can see uh, this red LED is on. And now I can just uh, choose the COM port. You can see that COM3 and click start. And then you can see the firmware it can download. Okay, complete. Now let's look at how to use this board. And you can see this have two ESP board. Uh, this is A6 and this is A8. I just uh, use this two board for a demo. Actually, you can use any different channel of King Kong A series board. And this is Google Home and this is Alexa. So the first you can see now I can use the Tuya Smart or Smart Life. You can see. I can remote control this board and this board. And I have connected this board, uh, the 12 volt, 12 volt power, uh, just this two board. And this have connected with the internet, and this I have used the Wi Fi. And you can see uh, this A8 and this A6. You can see I can press A6. And you can see I can click uh, this one, relay is on, two, three. So this three relay is on. You can see it here, and you can see I can uh, off and uh, or on uh, for this A6. And now you can see this is A8 bar. I can enter this one page, and you can see click this is on, on, or on, and uh, or off. Okay, this can remote country by internet. I use this mobile phone to your application for this board and for this board. But can't use this uh, voice country by the Alexa and the Google Home. And now we can add this to your adapt. And it's very easy uh, to work with this two board. I just only connect with this Wi-Fi antenna at here. Because this have two antenna interface, uh, this one for ESP32 and this one for Tuya. And uh, this firmware is very flexible. So I just uh, connect with this Wi-Fi for Tuya and just the power on. You can put this board in anywhere, not need cable connect with this two board. Just put beside your load or just have the Wi-Fi signal is OK. So you can see I can just power on for this board and you can see this board become blink and it will auto discover the h 32 b Pro so you can see I can click add and just uh, enter this SSID and the password of your load 
we can click next. Uh, this is blink, the red LED blink. And now we can wait for a moment. I found 33 new devices. Try saying, turn off switch 29. Okay, you can see the Alexa application have found this device and click down. And this LED you can see is always on, not blink. So you can put this board in anywhere. I just put it here. Actually, actually you can put it in uh, any different room, no problem. Because uh, this board and with this adapt without any communication. So you can see, I can use this board and you can see, press the first and the second channel with this uh, switch one and this, this is switch two. And you can see that Zara have 32 channel switch. But when I press this button on and off, uh, there are no work, uh, no any work, because it's a virtual switch. So just a virtual switch. And how it works, we just want link this switch one uh, to this A6 board relay one. And I can link this switch two and to this A8 board relay one. So you can link different button with a different board and a different relay. So this is very flexible. If you have one board, two board, three board, and four board, so any different board relay you can link with any buttons. Just uh, totally you can use the 32 channel of switch. So you can see this card switch one. This you can see, that is switch one. So you can see I can create the things mode. Uh, at here, have a things mode. You can see I can create things mode. And choose this one when device state changed. Click and choose H32B Pro. And I want to use the switch one. So you can see as here, that is switch one. The switch one is on. I want this A6 channel one is on. So I just add task and control single device. And this time I choose A6. And output one, that is really one. So output one is on. And press save. And press next. And press save. And this name, I can input switch one on. OK, confirm. And enable it, start to use it. OK, this have saved. Now you can see I don't use this mobile phone. Alexa, turn on switch one. Okay. Okay, you can see uh, this switch one is on. And now you can see I can use the voice control to turn on this relay one because this only for relay one is on. So I want this relay is off. So I can also add the second things mode. And you can see I can press here. And when device state changes, and H32 B Pro, and also change switch one, and this time it's off. And at the task, and you can choose single device, and A6, and output one, and for off. And press save, and press next. And save, and this is switch one off and press confirm start to use okay this is for off and this is for on and now you can see i can test alexa turn off switch one okay and you can see the switch one is off now i can let you see clearly and you can see alexa Turn on switch one. Okay. You can see the switch one is on, red LED is on. Alexa, turn off switch one. Okay. Okay, you can see. Now I can use Alexa to control this relay on and off. Okay, if you want the switch two, I want to change this relay state, this part. So you can see, I can also create the things mode at here, uh, whether the uh, release state changed 
and I can change uh, this switch to at here switch to switch to is on and this add task select single device I choose to a eight board eight board output one and change to on save and next and press save and this is switch to on I can press confirm and start to use and now you can see this uh, second channel of relay Alexa turn on switch 2 okay and you can see the switch 2 is on so this part the second part is controlled by this Alexa so you can set the different channel switch number uh, for different board if you want not uh, rename the switch one switch two switch three so you can just enter the h32 b pro and you can hold on this button and you can change uh, maybe you can change to light l-i-g-h-t light so and press save and this will be light so the next time you can uh, speak to the alexa you can turn on the light or turn off the light so what need to speak uh, just a keyword uh, change this rename every switch you can rename okay you can see I can use the Alexa voice control this two part and if you want to use the Google Home also you can use this to your application you can see that have a Google Assistant so you just link this to your account skill to your Google Home that can be uh, use it voice control easily just for this Google Home I want to save the time so I not uh, demo for you it's very easy okay this is how to use this tool board and work with Alexa and for voice country by this tool adapt. So this is very easy. Okay, thanks for watching.